Right, good morning everybody and uh, welcome back to my newly named channel which is just The Average Golfer and uh, I am here this morning, I am clearly back in the UK it's uh, probably not as cold as I'm feeling right now because I've just had um, well 10 days in uh, warmer places let's say but I'm back at Heswell Golf Club, that's the one good thing and I'm here to test a new putter from Ping now I've got the, it's the Ping Sigma 2 range of putters um, I have been sent the uh, the fetch model. There are several models, and I'll throw up some images for you now of those. Several models available. The, the, the actual product that I will be testing this morning is the fetch model. Now, and the big thing about the ping putters is new face insert, which we'll talk about in a second or two. But the other big difference is the ability to adjust the putter length. So very much all designed once again around custom fit. I'm going to start off by making some adjustments to what I think. Don't forget the important thing is to get custom fit. I'm going to adjust this putter length to what I think is suitable for me personally. Then I'm going to hit some golf balls and a little bit of putting on the screen that I'm stood on. And we'll start to discuss what the ping product is all about and what I think about it. Right, so before we pay any attention to let's look at the putter head and talk about how it feels and all those kind of things that uh, we're going to associate with a putter review, let's have a look at this adjustability and how it works. So basically, you get a little object like this. This is your uh, do not lose this. And basically this uh, goes into the end of the putter head. It's a little Allen key screw or Allen key type. And basically, so I'm looking at it as a plus sign and a minus sign, plus sign obviously increases the height and uh, yeah you guessed it minus sign decreases the height and on the bottom uh, underneath rather of the shaft there's some little uh, marking bars which start off the lowest you can go to on this is 32 inch and I think it goes all the way up to sort of 36 inch in fact let's have a look there's quite a bit of adjustability there very secure and stable there's no idea this thing is going to start moving midway through um, yeah midway through the round it feels very solid indeed so 32 33 34 35 and yeah all the way up to 36 inches so I was right so for me normally I would have a putter at 33 inches ping give a guideline like I said you should get custom fit for this but ping give a guideline on how a, um, a putter should sit at a dress and one of the major things is your eyes literally should be sat when in your putting position eyes directly perched above the ball also talks about how the club fate uh, club head should sit onto the ground as well I'll throw up an image and their advice on how that should be done but my advice would be is to go and get custom fit for this type of putter but I'm going to set this putter up at 33 inches first of all and I'll see how it sits at a dress for me at the 33 inches which I would normally play. personally I would have a little bit of a mess around with that and try and I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust it slightly higher I'm gonna go for 34 inch and have a little bit of a play around with that but the all-important message is get custom fit but the message from ping is an interesting one they claim that eight out of ten golfers are incorrectly fitted with their current putter so playing at the wrong putter length and claim that by getting it right and by getting custom fit it will make a big difference to your putting stats interesting claim not sure where they've got that data from but we can always trust ping in terms of that claim i've no doubt next thing the big thing for ping and what they've introduced like i said in this putter is the putter face they're using a material called pbax they call it uh, a dual durometer face i have no idea what that means what i can get from the notes is that it is basically using two different thicknesses of this PBAX material, putting them together to, and combined, they produce two different, I would say feelings, if you like. Feeling is a hard thing to quantify with a putter and always difficult to do in a putter review. But what they're claiming is it's got a very soft feel, 
for those who like that softness, that the responsiveness from a putter when in your hands. But it also has got that kind of hard ping off the face um, that again would appeal to others. So this that's where this dual durometer, I don't know what that word means, but I assume that's what I say. It's got two different senses, if you like, in terms of translating that into feeling. Okay, so it's, uh, we shall see. I'll put some more and I'll, I'll give you my feedback. show you what is arguably one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on a putter. How cool is that? So for those of you who struggle to pick your ball about the golf hole, and uh, no doubt I'll be getting there soon enough, uh, what an interesting little addition that is. Right, so let's talk about overall opinions now on this putter and uh, a real interesting one from when I started, from when I took it off the cover. Because I'm going to start with, um, yeah, start with a negative and then we'll end on, on a positive. Negatives for me, I'm not really keen on the finish and the looks of this putter. Once again, I'll throw the images up on this particular style. And it's just unping like in its finish for me. I don't know whether it's this addition of this uh, bold turquoise colour. I just don't know, but it just doesn't look like this is an RRP £200 putter. And for me, it just doesn't look that way, to be honest with you. I've got to be honest as ever, and, and that's the real downer. So that's, for me, shelf appeal is a massive thing, and, and how a putter looks on the eye is a big deal. So whether or not I want to give this a chance from off the shelf, I'm not so sure. Now then, let's get to the positives. The dual durometer face, p backs material, this idea it can have two different feelings off the face. Again, very sceptical when I went out. How do you achieve both things? But oddly enough, I genuinely think they do achieve that. The feeling off the face is really interesting. And it's exactly what they say. It almost has two different senses, if you like. And uh, I, I mean, don't take my word for this. is something you're going to have to try for yourself. But I genuinely believe that the, um, the insert in the face is really, really appealing. And I liked it and I, the more I used it the more I got used to it you see that I tried I've got a ping um, putter at the moment uh, that I'm using and the milled face in that is a lot lot firmer um, if I'm honest with you I assumed I would much prefer it and as the time went on this really started to appeal to me I really did like it look no, no putter sticks the ball in the hole for you as no driver finds fairways you know it is all down to technique at the end of the day but it, it grew on me a lot one thing just to say as well, the greens today are not particularly great for testing out, so let's give Ping uh, a little bit of um, yeah allowance in that. The balls aren't rolling great, they've all been uh, sanded and top-dressed, so yeah, not great uh, putters, uh, greens to be trying to putter on, I suppose. Um, but that aside, I think if we're talking about feeling, the adjustability thing I think is massive, I think it's a real big bonus, I think that's again a major positive, I think getting that putter height right and being able to do that and adjust it is key, but get it done by somebody who knows what they're doing. Three different grip types in this and again all about being, for me putting is all about confidence, about being, being comfortable over the ball. And it's about being confident that the strike on the ball from wherever you hit across the club face, because again, just MOI and putters is important now, because we don't, as average golfers, find that centre strike. To know that ball is going to release the same or consistently across the club face is major important. So again, a, a, a big positive. I love the idea that people can stick this in a cup and pick their ball out. Very lazy, but I like that idea as well. So for me, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next few months, because I'm going to carry on playing with this for the rest of this round. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it really, I'm surprised. I'm surprised how much I ended up liking it because like I said, it started off on a negative, but it's ended up very much on a high. Anyway, 
as ever thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it testing from the average golfer's perspective thumbs up if you liked it comments down below and uh, I'll catch you very soon on Sea Upload TV it's not Sea Upload TV anymore it's the average golfer's channel I better get used to saying that <laughs>